A shout out to Josie for all the uh, no kidding the Absolutely. patriotism this morning. You guys Thank look you. so good. I it makes my heart happy. I don't think we've ever looked better. No, I really don't. I agree. Um, I mean, I, I, agree. Decked I, out. I agree. Katie looks like the Statue of Liberty. Yeah. She does. Lady I'm Liberty. kind of a uh, kind Lady of a redneck Liberty. version, but I'm here for it. <laughs> yeah. I'm here for it. Yeah. yeah. Me too. Okay. Good. I love it. Uh yes. Thank you, Josie, That's very much. Happily. Very cool. All right. How to be irresistible. To men. Now listen, earlier we brought you the female dating expert who gave a lot of info of the things that men want and don't want when it comes to a lady. So now it's the guy's turn. A male dating expert is is sharing the things that make you irresistible to men. Let's see if you agree. Okay. You show interest, but you make him work. Hmm. Okay. What he means by this is... We all value something that we have earned. True. When you're given something or something's too easy, it's you just are like, oh, I don't care about that. That is true. I mean, I think Mm -hmm. if if they're playing games, you become disinterested. But if I mean, but if you're you're, you know, you're saying just as who you are, like Mm -hmm. this is gonna take time, please be patient, that type of thing, then I think you do appreciate the person more. Yeah, absolutely. What he what the dating expert says, and this is a male dating expert, he says Look, if you want to go up and talk to a guy, awesome. It, that's welcome. You know, go up and, and yeah. absolutely talk for a while. See if you have anything in, in common. See if there are sparks. See if there's interest. But then instead of just, you know, dedicating your entire night to talking to that one person, say, you know what? I'm going to go back and hang out with my friends for a little bit, but come find me later. Oh. So that's the work mm-hmm. part. Mm-hmm. It's oh. like if you want to, then you're not now going to have to come seek me out. And then yeah. the way that backfires is then he just goes on to the next lady at the bar. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or you say, come find me later, and then you leave immediately with your girlfriends. Right. That's all right. right. Yeah. 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 That's, okay. that's okay. Listen, yeah. I, I you know, bartend once in a while, and yeah. I yeah. have seen it work where girls have done that, and it does work. But I've also seen women beg. Uh, yeah. Beg. I have seen women beg men to go home with them. Mm-hmm. That does not work. Squid well, wants it, to know what's the name of the bar. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh there is, yeah, there was yeah. one instance where I was like, babe, you've lost all self-respect. Just yeah. turn around and walk away at this point because he mm. was like, I don't want to go home with you. And she was uh. like, but please. Oh, my gosh. Mm. Well, that's the equivalent, I guess, of the last man standing. You know, the, the guys who oh, just yeah. hang out yeah. in the bar to see yeah. what they, you know. Yeah, mm-hmm. and, and they were. Who's left? But yeah. he was like, no. And Mm-mm. she was like, but Please. And I was like, oh. yeah, if a guy no. needs convincing to go home with you, yeah, <laughs> yeah, and he's yeah. not like religious or something, yeah. then that's like yeah. something's mm-hmm. going on. Yeah, true. Yeah. He's usually but, one of our Friday morning live guests too, and he has like so, and he was trying to be so polite about it. <laughs> oh, and finally he was like, I don't want to go home with you. Like I don't know how else to say it. And I was like, girlfriend, just leave it alone. Yeah. Go, mm-hmm. man, mm-hmm. leave it alone. But going back yeah. to having to work for it, my yeah. my ex, my last relationship I was in, that was like a. Two three week period hanging out and she we she wouldn't sleep with me. We would do everything else but you know sleep together. And uh-huh. she was like after we started dating, she was like, yeah, I read it in a, a men's psychological manipulation book that <laughs> that's how you get them to like you is that you don't hook up after don't you have to get, share at least there's like a three week period. So she's like, it was so tough, but I waited for three weeks and I was like, that actually did it. Worked. I, yeah, it did. I'm she like, she went to the Goodman Institute. She right? Yeah, yeah, she did. <laughs> which uh, which one was this? Uh, uh, Baseball. Uh, no, 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 no. I don't knock. No, that's not a girlfriend. That was a that was a oh, thing. Oh, bad. Oh, right. yeah, yeah. Excuse yeah. us. Uh huh. Yes. Um, I don't Duke. know. What, yeah, yeah. Duke University. Yeah, Duke uh, University. Yes. I got you. Uh-huh. What do we call yeah. her? Pazuzu. Pazuzu. What do we call her? Pazuzu. 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 Okay. I like that. Yeah. Serial killer name. Yeah. Cake Cake Pazuzu. Cake Sand Collapse. Yes. Yeah, Only, we didn't call her that because she was a serial killer. We called her that because her well, name. Her very could, similar. Yeah. 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 Nickname is like Doo or something. What yeah. Was yeah. 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 I would call her Doo Yeah. So we called her. So loving. So we called her Pazuzu, which is probably better than calling her Doo Doo. Doo Doo. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you make too a can date squid and get a nickname like that, <laughs> like ladies. Doo-doo. Yeah. Sign up. She <laughs> there's, 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 there's a uh, story behind it, but it's too long. And when it's you're too long. in love, or oh, you yeah. think you're going, yeah, mm. you will say the most ridiculous, ridiculous things to each other, and you're like, uh, "That's so cute." Yeah. yeah, yeah your you know? name yeah. and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Say like doo doo. Like it's, it's, not, it's not bad if you say it like that. Right. You just don't do it around your bros. Yeah. Because no. <laughs> well, when they find out, you're never living it down. They walk away like a ball and chain, and won't leave you alone. Then as soon as they walk, your friends walk away like. Hey, doo doo. Hey, yeah. You look so cute tonight, hey, doo doo. Right. Yeah. You're my little doo doo. <laughs> oh, I really, really hope she's not listening. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. I'm so mad. <laughs> you know how I feel about the daddy thing. I'm like, yeah. oh, I can't. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Call me daddy. Call oh, me nope. my daddy. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, another way that you can be completely. Where does that come from? Sorry. What? 
the daddy. Call just, me daddy. Just a cop. I think it's women who it, ha- must have some sort of issue. No, I, I think it's been, but I think it's been fantasy. But I think Ew. it's been in the oh. like the ether for decades. For yeah, a long time. So grown. I think yeah. man, you just grow up and you're like, oh, when you're you, you just say it. I don't think people think consider the fact that you're calling them daddy. Okay, can I yeah. just say? Oh, no, I don't get it either. We but. don't do. I don't get it, and we don't. It's not the other way around. Now, I guess if you are of. Hispanic descent, the mommy. Oh yeah, M A M I. Yeah, yeah. Is, could yeah. be really hot. Okay, yeah, it is. That's mm-hmm. hot, but mommy, no. Uh, like, what about they say father? Oh yeah, oh, gosh. I actually no, might start no, that. No, that hit, might no. be my new thing. Yeah. I'm Come your father. Here, father. father. <laughs> oh, no, that's, that's, that's give it to little, me, father. That's too specific. <laughs> no, no, no. No. That's not hot at all. No. Come here, mother. I don't know. Mother, no. isn't that what oh, you're God. my mother? Isn't that what Mike Pence and his wife they call each other, mother, father? Do you think they do in the bedroom? Come here, mother. I don't Come think they father. I don't think they do. They go to the bedroom, yeah. right? Yeah. Ooh. Call me father. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Star your Wars. father? <laughs> <laughs> terrible. That's so gross. That's the worst thing ever. That's not so terrible. I don't want to think about Mike Pence doing it. I don't think he does. It's a uh, robot. Mm. I don't think they've had their children. Oh, I think that's, that's so good. It's for procreation mother. only. Mm-hmm. That's okay. In his book. And that's okay. And that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's an inside joke. Another way that you can uh, be completely irresistible to men. Tap into your femininity. I agree now, with that. Now, here's the thing. Women, I think, hear this and they're <laughs> it didn't like. say be a little bitch, Jerry. No, it does not. <laughs> Women will, you hear that sometimes. And I think people can be like, I have to tap into my femininity. Like, you want me to dim my star? No, not at all. You don't lessen who you are at all. But there's a difference between, I mean, I, I always see this with my husband. He'll sometimes be telling me about work or whatever. And then he'll go into his like business voice mm-hmm. will then translate into our conversation i'm like Mm-mm, Mm-mm. that's not that's that's business ben right there yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and i can see we're not that it, that business i never do that ben. to him because we don't have that kind of rapport here right but <laughs> i just call see... dare a bitch at work like we yeah. don't have that exactly kind of, right yeah. i think that what can happen is you go like if you're a very strong businesswoman or you're very great at what you do and you're successful that that can then translate into a relationship and you don't want that you want mm-hmm. the gentleness you want that like we just said the the doo-doos even if yeah. yeah i see what you're saying even if you're not a businesswoman yeah. i think if if it's, you know it, great you, every, i think men and women should have have independence be independent and have their own things going mm-hmm. but sometimes that can turn into like i don't need you right sure and like we need you and you need, and us. You need us and it feels good when we feel like you need us mm-hmm. now if you need us to do like chores around the house you can scrap that femininity, <laughs> but <laughs> but you know, like but be feminine. Be, you know, that's, yeah. Uh, I, I think that, that yeah. I think that doesn't dull you at all. I think it brightens you. Well, and but but a lot of strong women who think you know I've worked very hard, and and there is absolutely something to be said for working in a place where it's male dominated. Mm-hmm. I mean, we do it every day, Josie and I. Mm-hmm. But it's it, in the sense that. If you're in business and you've worked really hard and you're on equal playing fields, that sometimes women don't get a fair shake because they're a woman. It is changing. Do not get me wrong. It is changing, but there it still exists. Yeah, it does. Absolutely and does. another complaint that I do hear or that we hear about a lot is that if you are, let's say you don't you're not a businesswoman, but you're at home with the children all day, sometimes that tone that you have with your kids can also translate to your relationship with your husband yeah mm-hmm. you and treat like the, one of the kids and that's not good either right, right. do this, they have examples yeah. of, of the no fem- they don't no examples he's now nah. i wish we had some people in here that were feminine we could ask i wish no, oh but katie, my God. No, no but katie you are I you do you, no, you do I that do. I yeah. crown. Yeah. handle it katie that's right let me adjust mm-hmm. my crown like you lay um, your head in this chest <laughs> Yeah, if Ben cuddled more, but he doesn't. He doesn't oh, Mm-mm. that's a little He's, odd. Yeah, that's he does odd. not. He doesn't cuddle yeah. very much. Yeah, My husband yeah. actually gets mad that I don't cuddle. Really? Like, don't you want to cuddle? And I'm like, yeah, you're He's too like, hot. it's hot. You're too, mm. you're too hot. Like I'm, I said, I'm, I'm hot. Good, I, yeah. good example. You're really hairy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> get you know, get all over for, me. Yes. But, you know, yeah, I think that in our house, it's a little bit more traditional. Yeah. Um, But that is just how it falls. It's just how, how we do with each other. And I don't think it makes anyone less. I don't think it's someone's no. masculine that makes them less or someone's Mm-mm. feminine that makes them less. I think Mm-mm. that's. I think it can be a, a, a wonderful thing. But I'll also go out and mow the grass and Ben does Oof. the laundry. In so, you know what I mean? Yeah, uh, so yeah. it's like... Oh, no. It's st- like... We, I don't know. <laughs> just me? Interesting. Yeah. Actually, that might be hot to me if oh, somebody's no, mowing the yard like for me. I mean, yeah. that's <laughs> how I do it. Like, the femininity... Femininity... Get your sweaty ass, Sometimes if you... Sometimes if you translate it into almost like a sexual thing, like make it... 
you know, that I think that, that they desire that. Like, you can do manly things, but sometimes if I turn into almost like a sexual thing, they're like, oh, oh, okay. You yeah. know, like, um, yeah. you don't, yeah. You're... I got to get crap done, but sometimes I can do it in a sexy way, you know, and then it, then it is a little more hot for them. And you're, and they're like, mother's ready for you. Mother, mother, uh, mother's uh, ready to mow the lawn, uh, father. Um, good Lord. I think a good way of explaining it, and this is a male dating expert who wants you to be, or who says if you want to be irresistible to men, there are such things as masculine energies yes and yes. female 100 percent, and or feminine energies yeah. doesn't mean you just you, and you you, and know. you know when you feel it yes yeah mm-hmm. like they can walk into a room and, they, and it's you're like wow that's mm-hmm. like you're like that's a woman yeah we're not talking yeah. about the chores we're not talking no. about the you know actual activities just the energy the thing. essence yeah, mm-hmm. yeah i think i've said that before sometimes like even like if i'm like with like a couple of girls and like we're like you know with my friends and them and I know I'm, I'm not going to hook up with you. There's no relationship, like, romantically. It's still just nice to have a feminine presence in the yes. room. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Yeah, mm-hmm. and it's different. Even if yeah. they have no interest, it kind of gives. Yeah. yeah. It's, like, refreshing in a mm-hmm. way. I do think that I lack that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, in the sense. It, yes, because mm-hmm. we work with these we, dudes all day. And we are yes. geared more. You're more dude-like. With, we yeah. are, yeah. Mm-hmm. And I, so I don't have that natural um I don't think I have like the sex appeal. You yeah, know what Kate I mean? Can be in I a just room, don't. They're like, man, we wish there was a female in the room. I, right, like you <laughs> yeah. just did. I think that <laughs> you, you do. I think that you absolutely do. But then you uh, fart, and it's like, oh. I okay. think you do it in other situations. Cool. People don't know you. Like Maybe. if you show up to like a gala, mm-hmm. I think oh. you don't the Met Gala. Very... Yeah, like you went to the Met Gala. Yeah, because yours. Yeah. I did not go to the Met Gala. <laughs> yeah, Met. No, that's beneath her. <laughs> yeah, I want this prize. I would like to go to the Met Gala. You are you are situationally appropriate. Yes, you are. You farted at the Met Gala. Situation. Really appropriate. Right, you're female in <laughs> yeah. certain situations. You don't lift your leg and blow it out your butt when you're at the Met Gala. Yeah. You're right. right. But but at home, I might. And in boom. <laughs> or at a bar. Yeah, yeah or at a, a bar. bar. Yeah, <laughs> li- luckily that was outside. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and the wind was blowing. Yes. You're welcome. Yeah, it was a crisp. <laughs> Toward our mouth. <laughs> Cold night. <laughs> While we were talking about a mountain you hooked up on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, we were. We were. Very no, feminine. A, a, a telephone tower, yeah. A See, telephone right there. Fire tower. Fire tower. <laughs> Climb to the top of that bad boy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, I hope, forgot about that. Hope, hope daddy's not <laughs> listening. Let me read this book. Father, turn the radio down. <laughs> Please don't be listening. Uh, Father, turn down the radio. <laughs> She's Mommy like, yeah, was bad. I up up there. <laughs> 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 Who wants a like, beer on me? <laughs> <laughs> I need to hang out with I need more estrogen in my life. I need that every day. Yesterday, I said, Katie, will you just go for a walk with me? I need some sort of, like, estrogen. Yes. Uh, yeah, been with dudes all week, and then children like I yeah. need estrogen. Oh. It's true. All right, finally, the way to be completely irresistible to a man, according to a male relationship expert, be true to who you are. Do not try to be what you think men want. It's stereotypical, and most of the time, it's not. That's not working mm-hmm. out. No, and I think sometimes mm-hmm. women will shy away from. It. Let's say they have male interest, like yes. stereotypical male interest. Let's say they do like sports. Sure. Some of them might shy away from talking about it because they might think, oh, the guys just think I'm just saying that. Got, or I'm just a, oh, I'm yeah. a dude. Mm-hmm. And then the yeah. opposite mm-hmm. is true. If you're not into sports and you're pretending. People can see through guys. Yeah. Yeah. Guys yeah. will know right away. Like, uh-huh. you have no idea what you're talking about. Uh-huh. We appreciate that you're trying, but you're it, th- just be you. Yeah. yeah. At yeah. the same time, though, like last night, I was with a, a friend, and she she likes bourbon. Mm-hmm. And now she's married. I'm married. Katie? Fine. And we were, I do. I do well, like bourbon. Well, and so yes. we, and, and it's, I mean, we were with a run club. It wasn't like we were out looking for men. We had just run. We were disgusting. We stunk. But we were somewhere, and, and she said something about going home and drinking bourbon, and this guy goes, ha! <laughs> You like bourbon? What kind? Like he was testing her, and uh-huh. she so she like kind of looked at him and listed off the kind, and he was genuinely impressed. But I was like, "Who are you? Yeah, to jump in our conversation and test her to make sure she's legit? Like, mind your biz." Was that Jason Goodman? And he looked well, a lot he... like him, and I think <laughs> he might have been an inch or two shorter. Oh, so maybe that's why oh, he dang. felt the need to jump in and like push his weight or his hundred and twenty five pounds around. Like, who, yeah. who are you? Well, when we're out, we'll be we'll go to a bar or something every once in a while. Not, not oh yeah, yeah, all yeah, that often. Yeah. But if we'd go out and have drinks. I'll order whatever it is that I really want to drink because I'm drinking it, you know. Yeah. And Absolutely. Jason will say to my face, "You don't want that. You don't like. Said, you don't like that. But yeah. then he makes. That. Yeah. But then he makes me order his drink because he doesn't know what he likes. <laughs> I also <laughs> order his lunch and his dinner because he doesn't know what he likes to eat. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's like a child. Yeah, well, then, so. he, well, then he can blame someone if he doesn't. If he doesn't <laughs> like, well, then I got to get his booster seat out and tie his bib around his neck. Yeah, right. it's, it's like it's, and I cut up a steak for him. It's it, very it's strange. A lot. It's a lot with it's him. My feminine energy needs to slow down. Yeah. Jason does have some feminine energy for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope that helps. Yeah, oh, yeah, I think it does. Yeah.